Sweet! We're live! I feel like we should go on the title screen for a hot minute and just chill. Just kick back, you know? Okay. Um. You might have to die. I don't want you to die. My, my child baby. One my time child for the baby. People. One time for the people. Baby! Baby! Look. These, these bald eagles are gonna murder you, so please stop yelling. Keep yelling. The mushroom. Bird week. I'm gonna share it. Oh god, he's further. freaking the f out. Wow. Oh. Can you be an adult too, baby? Baby. Baby, can you adult? What is happening? <laughs> the victory sound is so intense. Oh man, there's there's like ferrets now. So so is this like is this like eagle like grandpa? Yes, yes, little guys. I. All right, all right. But <sighs> butterfly, James. What? T tell the people at home about this interactive story. So here we are. This is this is Bird Week. I, I'm I'm Corpse Bird. That that's your name. So yeah, we are here today playing the game that was voted by Game Pro Magazine. Issue 26 in 1998 as the greatest game of all time, uh, Bird Week. So, Bird Week actually is a really interesting title. This was originally released on a uh, record, vinyl record, as a game. It was the first vinyl record game. However, they found out that the game was not interactive, and instead they made it for the Nintendo Famicom Family Computer Console. So here we are today. All right, and this is this is it. This is Bird Week, and this is a game that's long been a favorite of you, Granderson. You you've loved this game for many years. Been very fond of it. I I've loved it in principle. True, you haven't really played too much of this game ever. In fact, we're not even sure how to play this game, <laughs> but we're gonna learn together. Because okay, so I have to wait for the birds to be yappy, and then they'll, right, they'll so, eat food. So you're but Grandpa Eagle wants me dead. Right, you're the mama bird right now. And your goal is to get the food, which is maybe those butterflies right there, and feed them in the mouth. And when you, what's going to go ahead and happen is when you do that, they're going to be not hungry anymore. It's weird how that works. It, it is weird how that Look works. Look at that so, beautiful mountain. Th it the was like Keevan Twain. incredible. So, yeah, this, this game actually won multiple awards for the artwork in it. It won the... Rand McNally Award, it won, um, I believe, an Oscar. So this this game really was ahead of its time in the visuals department, as well as, as you can hear in the music, really, they pushed it to the limit, the, the Nintendo Family Computer. And gameplay-wise, it was truly in a league of its own. There'd never been a game like this before. So here we are today, so, enjoying it. So, you know, it. it's, it's like Game of Thrones. It's, where it's basically Game of Thrones, yes. It's basically Game of Thrones if it was a, a old-school Nintendo game. Now, I know that you're a big fan of Bird Week in principle, because you've never played it, but you've always liked it as a game. And here you are today for the first time enjoying it. Yes. It must feel incredible. All these years fantasizing about the opportunity to play this game. And here we are. You know, I wish the flying was more interactive, I'm going to be honest. It's, it's an older game, Christopher. You, ha you have to understand, they didn't know how to make games back then very well. Yet, this game won all these awards. Now, here's, here's an interesting thing I'd like to point out. That is a pink tree 
That is... That's a cherry blossom. This game may take place in Japan. That's, that's worth noting. Are, are you telling me that that mountain in the background might have been the Mount Fuji? The Mount Fuji. I'm, that's what I'm telling you. This game might take place in Japan. This, this game actually was based on a true story. Oh, that, that's why, why it's called, like, Bird Week subtitle Monogatari. Yes, exactly, because it, it was a story. Uh, Monogatari, of course, meaning story. That's what that word mm -hmm. means in Japanese. And so, this game was made by Toshiba. And Emmy and her friend Leonard. And these two siblings, Emmy and Leonard, got a job at Toshiba when they showed their prototype in the lobby every day until they offered them a job. And they said, okay, we'll release your game under one condition that... It has to be, like, a year-round thing. Right. All right, so I'm actually playing Bird Week right now. Now, this is, this is actually happening. I just want to throw that out there. This is happening. I'm playing it. Now... As we play Bird Week here today, I want to also acknowledge the fact that this was a really interesting week for all of us in North America because, as you may know, Monday was Labor Day. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And so Labor Day in North America is a day where we celebrate being lazy and we don't work. Generally speaking. It's what you do. We have a day to celebrate that. We're America. But the fact that it was a day off on Monday means that the work week was only four days long. True. And there's a term for that. We call that a bird week. That's actually the term I read about it on Wikipedia. So we're playing this game here today because it is a bird week. This is a bird week, and we're playing the game bird week. It's very ironic. Very clever. I mean... The stars aligned, right? It, it just happened that way. So I'm flying around, I'm a bird, and I'm getting the food. I'm getting butterflies, I'm getting shrimp, maybe. I'm getting twigs. Birds like to eat twigs, I believe. They do. And when you feed the baby, they learn how to fly and they leave the nest. It's really, really quite touching. Now, I, I was reading up on this game, and I've been told that in the next level, you aren't playing this bird because birds live so little. You're instead playing the children that you fed. True. So right now, I'm, I'm a different bird. That Well, you just blew my mind. So right now, I'm playing the baby bird from the previous stage. Right. So we're here today playing Bird Week. Bird Week is a game from the Nintendo Famicom. Uh, it's about co-parenting. It's about co-parenting. This was voted by the National Enquirer as the best Famicom game of all time. And the premise is you're playing as a mama bird, maybe a papa bird. We don't actually know. We don't want to make any assumptions. But Look, there's a lot of vomiting going on. Vomit has no gender. You food into a baby bird's mouth. If you ever wanted to have that experience, this is the game for you. Now, Bird Week is really unique because it was the first game ever where you played as a bird and not a spaceship. Until this game came out, all games were spaceship games. So, Like, you didn't even have a laser. No, no, you just like, you played as a spaceship. Like, people picked it up, and, and then they threw down their controllers, and it's like, I don't, I don't understand, there's no laser, where's the laser? It's interesting, because a lot of people back then didn't know video games could be about anything other than spaceship. And this there, game broke the mold. It, it broke the mold. There was actually a radio campaign where people would write letters to, like, radio stations, being like, I, d I don't understand why there's no laser in, in Bird Week. And Emmy and Lenar would would go onto the station with idols and right. like trying to explain like, well, no, this is like this is a deeper concept. This is a different game. This game is art. Like this butterflies. What you're looking at right now is this is fucking good. art. 
They, they do, and that's basically the message of this game. It's, that's the story that they were trying to tell. And, it, and it's beautiful. It's really, truly beautiful. And so, I just fed that baby bird and he flew away. Now, this is nuts because you know what's going to happen next stage, right? I'm going to play as that baby bird grown up. Now, we got a stork. What is that? A stork with an evil bird? It, it's Grandpa... It's Grandpa Eagle. Now, he wants to basically fuck your shit up. He doesn't like the fact that you're feeding baby birds, because... Well, you got teen pregnant, well, he's a, he's a and... Jerk. Well... I think he, he's just not down with that. I did it. You actually clear the season. Oh! Now we're going through the seasons! Yeah, and it's, I just it's see fall another now. Bird week. Now it's fall. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, all you've got to do is call Bird Week for the Nintendo Famicom. Now... I'm trying to feed this butterfly to this bird, but he's not hungry. Now he's hungry. So, But that's really inconvenient because frickin' squirrel... Yeah, basically that squirrel, he's a jerk. He's going to try to mess your shit up, too. Oh, he's a flying squirrel. Wow. Amazing. Okay. Wow, they just don't make them like this anymore, you know? they—they. They, I re remember when games used to be good. I remember. State Farm remembers. State Farm remembers. You know, I now, really like the State Farm cookies. Oh, like the, yeah, the State like, Farm cookies, like the, the... The top, and then the bottom, and then the betweens, there's got, the like, chocolate. the chocolate, yeah. yeah. Oh, those are fantastic. We should get State Farm to send us some cookies. Um, That'd be nice. Now, you, you might not know this, but, like, at our office, we really like when people send us food. Yes, if you are able to send snacks, please contact me, and I will give us... I'll give you our address. So contact your local State Farm representative and tell them, send mint potion, lots and lots of State Farm cookies. Now, here's an interesting fact. You see there's a mushroom at the bottom of the screen. So far, I've been avoiding the mushroom, but actually what happens if you eat the mushroom is the palate cycles representing... Well, I'm, I don't know if I can talk about this on the camera, but... You know, I, I mean, the colors change, you know, things start to feel a little funny. I'm not going to, of course, do it because I don't want to lose the game. Oh, no. Oh, he didn't eat enough. Wow. So sometimes the baby chick birds, they starve to death because State Farm doesn't send any cookies to Mint Potion. I mean, th this really is State Farm's fault. I think the best thing about this game is the fact that you really do feel like a bird when you're playing. This is this is a bird's life. You're getting the food, and you're feeding the chicks. And wow, and, and eventually you die. That's the game over. So, that was Bird Week, thank you. And we're going to play one or two more rounds of Bird Week, but we're going to do something a little different. Now, we're going to press the select button. Back in the day, there was, on Game Controller, there was a select button. I don't know if you are old enough to remember this, Chris. I remember select buttons. The select button actually changes the mode instead of the down button. Like like in the Zelda game, when I wanted to select file 2, I had to select, select. So file 2. We're going to press the select button, and what does that say? Can you read that for everybody? Study game. Study game? Wow. So, they're changing it up. What's going to be different this time? I don't know, you don't know, but we're about to find out. I'm going to hand the controller. I'm going to hand it back to Christopher here. Okay, for educational so, purposes, here's study mode. What up, guys? A Toric and Kirby Volt. State Farm cookies are good for the soul. They're good for everybody. I think they're I think they're fantastic. We should be eating them right now. Today's episode of Getting Wrecked with Cranderson and James Popstar is brought to you by Pillsbury Toaster Strudels. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, Pillsbury. Yep. If you like Pillsbury Toaster Strudels, then you've made the right choice. I think baby, it'd be baby, really baby. great if someone mailed us Pillsbury Toaster Strudels. That would be... That would be wonderful. If anyone knows a contact at Pillsbury that wants to hook it up, get in touch. Free food. Free publicity. When we start talking about their products on the stream, you know everyone's going to go buy it. Now, last week on Getting Wrecked with Cranderson... We had over 200 viewers. 
And we're going to see if we can break that. Unbelievably, we had over 200 unique viewers. I thought we had no viewers. Close, it's the same difference. So, we're going to actually see if we can break that record this time. And... If we were able to break that record this time and get 201 viewers or more... Okay, okay. Everyone in the Twitch chat will receive, by mail, a warm Pillsbury Toaster Strudel. Don't make promises you can't keep, James. I can keep that promise. I didn't say when they would receive it, I just said they'll receive it. <laughs> so, you know, spread the word, get people on, on the Twitch stream, on the YouTube gaming stream, on the Vimeo, on the MySpace stream, get them, get them on there. And if we can get oh man, we have my over streaming? 200 unique viewers, then everyone's going to get a toaster strudel. So, that's the way it works. So, so you buy loyalty? Is, is this what we do now? That's, that's what this show is all about. That's, Purchase that's actually loyalty. the secret meaning of this whole show, getting wrecked with Cranderson. Other than getting wrecked, of course. I, I mean... And as you know, we've been getting wrecked because we haven't been winning at all. I mean, you, you won for five levels. It's, I mean, it's there's... really interesting. This is called study game. What are we studying? Uh, this isn't study game anymore. Study game is just a practice level one. Oh. Well, that's incredible. You you can't even see summer. The flavor is chosen for you at random, so you'll have to yeah just hope you get the flavor you want. Maybe it's cherry. Maybe it's root beer bubble gum. So this game, we're, we're we are collecting butterflies and I've never eaten a butterfly have you Cranderson? No but they sound delicious now right? We could go for some butterflies butterfly jam butterfly, butterfly cookies, butter butterfly sauce if you've had a butterfly tell us in the chat what it tastes like we want to know, inquiring minds want to know I heard that ants taste peppery I've heard that too I haven't had an ant before. I've had a cricket, and I've had a scorpion. Yeah. Scorpion came in a lollipop. It didn't have much of a flavor, actually. It was just kind of crunchy. Huh. The cricket, however, tasted sour. It tasted very sour. I had it in a pudding. This is a true story. I, I joke. We joke around a lot on getting it with Cranderson, but you have to understand, sometimes I'm very sincere. That actually happened. Yeah, I ate, I ate a Toaster Strudel is actually by Keebler, not State Farm. Toaster Strudel is not by fucking Keebler. What? It's by General Mills. Oh. The, Pil the, Pilbury Toaster the Strudel is by General Mills. Oh, okay. But General Electric, I'm sorry, GE. General right. Electric. Bringing all good things to life. So, we decided we want to play Bird Week, and I'm going to repeat this story a little bit, um, because... This week is a bird week. As you know, in North America, Monday was Labor Day. We had the day off. And I actually heard when you have a day off in a week and you only have a four-day work week, that's known as a bird week. And so since we are having a bird week, we decided to play bird week. That's not the only reason we decided to play bird week. No. We decided to play bird week because this game actually is getting a remake, an HD remaster. Yeah, Emmy and Lenar is... They're, they're getting back together. They're... The, the, the fans the getting band. back together, and so to celebrate the announcement of the HD remaster of Bird Week, here we are today playing. You're, you're doing okay. You're 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 getting the groove of avoiding the yeah Grandpa Crow bald eagle that is in front of a cherry blossom. <laughs> oh no! Oh man! Look. Funny you mentioned that there was a gold cartridge of Bird Week. You can see on the screen over there, that is the cartridge. It's normally a turquoise, beautiful turquoise color, Bird Week. I mean, turquoise is, like, one of my favorite colors. But Fuji TV actually had a call-in special back in, I believe, 1989, 1987, where if you were to call in to Fuji TV, you could actually win a gold cartridge of Bird Week. And these days, those are very expensive. So... As you can imagine. Oh no. The special, of course, happened on Golden Week in Japan, and it all comes full Bertram circle. Bertram is gonna, he's gonna starve. Bertram, no. Bertram, no! 
He's, he's gone. So we're going to play one more round of Bird Week, just because we don't want to get wrecked like that. We're not going out like that. 1986, pardon me, 1986 was the year of Golden Week, Bird Week, Gold Cartridge, Special Limited Edition. That's definitely real. And here we go. Not at all a fib. Alright, so I'm going to play it safe and stick around the nest. Catch the low-hanging fruit, if you will. Waiting to be an empty nester. The birds got to open the mouth. They got to get hungry. So I'm actually going to kill some... Ah, he's hungry. There you go. Please. Eat it. Eat it, child. All right. Now we got to get another butterfly and put it in his mouth. Got it. Good, Vomit. Good, good, got it. There we go. Eat it. You can't force them to eat it. That's the interesting thing about this game. Just like real life. You can't force a baby bird to eat a butterfly. Yeah. It just isn't going to work. They're, they're completely ungrateful. Oh, you got you got me there we go. like... I'm getting the hang of this. I think I could be a pretty good bird. Not got, for anything. You I think got me I a could. butterfly before I want one. I don't want that. Right. But, you know... No! Wow! That was pretty messed up. Man... Hey, you know what? Feed the feed the mushroom to Grandpa to Grandpa Bald Eagle. Oh, there. Oh, oh, snap! You know what? Papa don't preach. I'm in trouble deep. Wow, that's beautiful, Chris. It's a quote. Blaise Pascal. He 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 knows a lot of things about like emotions and families. Yeah. Yeah, that's she bop. He bop. We bop. Mm bop. Oom mm bop. The loo bop. And, no, and don't be silly. Some... The cartridge was just gold plated. Like, you know, like Zelda. It's a gold cartridge. <laughs> I would just be crazy to make a real gold cartridge. Then they wouldn't, they wouldn't give that away. That, that'd just be expensive. It would also heat up. So actually, gold has a heating point that's lower than most metals, and therefore it's softer. So if you made a cartridge of gold, the Nintendo Famicom might heat it up and actually melt it. And it would also be very heavy. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, if you were to replace the plastic with gold, it would probably weigh a good five pounds. Oh, I looked away for one second, and that's what happened. What, what? Now, I'm going to get the mushroom again. And this jumping squirrel? What the hell is that? A kangaroo? What are you, even? It's, I know what you are. You're dead. It's it's the famous cartoon Bam. character from uh, from Ice Age. Scritch. Oh, I didn't I didn't see that movie. Was that a Disney one? Uh, Disney's Ice Age? I think it was made by uh, DreamWorks. Yeah. DreamWorks. Dream... Dreamscape. It was actually a parody of Mickey Mouse. You know what's interesting about this game that you really don't see in other games? Hmm. The fact that the score is just, like, always really low. You know, like, this isn't worth a whole yeah, lot. Yeah, you, you, got, you got two points. Yeah, that's, like... Not very much. That bird is ready to leave the nest. I'm doing my best to win here. It's not an easy game. You know, not a lot of people realize, but the TV show Empty Nest was based on Bird Week. Oh, that's true. It was inspired by Bird Week, Empty Nest. Much like the, the folk jazz album, Bird Week. Oh, that's right. By Bertram and the Waves. Right, that also is is Bird Week. I'm winning the game so far. I'm not getting wrecked too badly. So let's hang in there. I know all you guys are chanting, get wrecked, get wrecked. Uh, especially over there, those MySpace viewers. Uh, hang in there. It's going to happen. I mean, this level has flying squirrels. It has bored, unhungry babies. It's true. And they don't always want to eat when it's convenient. Like a real baby... 
they're just very fussy. Don't don't feed the birds when the predators are about. There's blood on these trees. I just want to point out there's a lot of blood on these trees. That is horrific. Well, this actually takes place in Suicide Forest. Is that the name of the forest? Uh, that's the nickname of the forest. They made an American film about the Japanese suicide forest. Oh, I think I saw that one. It's called Ring. The Ring. Ringu. Yes. Ringu, surprisingly, was based off the movie Suicide Forest. I'm going to try to eat a butterfly there right now. The butterflies are getting away. Well, they're really hard to see with the, with they're the, the autumn trees. They're the same color as the fucking trees. Almost. And that's it. That, that was Bird Week, guys. And that's the Thank game. You. So we're actually going to shift gears here a little bit, but keeping with our bird theme, we're going to play a different bird-related game. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. All I'm right. ready for whatever Take comes our way. Take the wheel, Cranderson. Okay. And then I play. I press the X button. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Here's a new game. What is this one? The name of this game is Milton Bradley Company. Jordan versus Bird one on one. So keeping with our bird theme, you actually play as Who do you play as? Do you play as Michael Jordan? Look, look. You play as Space Jam himself. Oh wow, you don't use the select button in this what? one. That's amazing. They are way ahead of their time. The cursor is a basketball that's so adorable. There you are. You are what? A baby bird that's actually been tr transformed into a human. You're learning how to walk and throw balls. As you do. <laughs> so this game is actually uh, a sequel to the original Bird Week. <laughs> no, how do I throw basketball? <laughs> so the idea is, in the sequel to Bird Week, what you want to do is, instead of butterflies, now it's red <laughs> balls, and instead of baby birds, it's a basketball hoop. This is a basketball game. I'm not sure who <laughs> they were trying to fool. Follow the leader. That okay, sounds let, like basketball let, I know. Let's see if I can if I can dunk once. All right. In the three points. Let's see if Cranderson can get a three point turn. Okay. Here we go. Sweet. Nice. Oh, <gasps> you made a basket. You weaved the basket. Wow! <laughs> mostly just net. Skills. Nothing but mostly just net. This is phenomenal. I, I, oh, I, man. I, frankly, I've never seen anything like this. What advanced technology. Wow. Amazing. Incredible. It's just like the real thing. This is basketball. This might be the best stroke. basketball game of all time. This is. According to Sports Illustrated, it was. I, I, I Little mean... Little known fact, Jordan the Bird versus Michael Jordan on the original Nintendo Famicom system was voted the best basketball game... Yes. ...by Sports highlights ball. for kids. Now, I think it's really cool how they have people in the background watching on the numbers and, and, there. and they're scoring our score. They're arbitrary numbers. Those numbers don't mean anything. They change it well. They, they change when they feel like it. Oh no, what's happening? <laughs> Feed the baby basket. Kirby, wait, Kirby Volt said something about Wikipedia for Bird Week. You both. No, we just have to be es experts on it. We didn't read the Wikipedia page, unfortunately. So if there's anything good on there, go ahead and send Br bring out bring out the Bird Week Show Wikipedia it. facts. We want to we want to we want to know. We just want to know. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually steal that from you. Oh, I'm sorry, I scratched your there you go. finger. Okay, okay, now, now you have to go. dunk the we're gonna, slams. We're going to play this for reals. Two players, three players, four players, one player. Oh, oh, what's happening? Uh, Air Jordan is happening, and here we go. All right, we're going to slam dunk. You, you, you got a total of 43 points for one slam and dunk. we're going to do, what's the next one? We're going to try uh, Statue of Liberty. Here we go. Here we go. Bounce the ball, bounce the ball. Check it, check it. Slam dunk! Here we go! 
boom, goes Everybody. the dynamite. <laughs> now, <laughs> just like in real life, the rules of basketball change every few seconds, and here's the next rule. Statue of Liberty, here we go. Bam, I did it! <laughs> I'm great at this. Nothing but net. Nothing but net. And okay, toss, toss slam. We're going to do the two-handed hammer. Toss slam. Here we go. Here we go. Here it goes. <laughs> Here we go. I'm, I'm doing it, guys. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Here we go. One, two, three. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. You, you toss, then you slam. Buttons are like... uh, we're, we're having some tec <laughs> technical... Uh, okay, anyway. Kiss the rim. Moving on, here we go. Kiss the rim. Flick the rim. There oh, 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 snap! Uh, see, I'm good sometimes. Okay, so so what what's up with the Bird Week Wikipedia page? Yeah, we want to know more about Bird Week Inquiring Wikipedia. minds would like to know. We just want to know. Dr. J Jam. Jibby J Jam Jam. Dr. J Jam. That's that's what they used to call me back in medical school. You you Bam! left it for a, a a life of game design. Yeah, they I they, mean, they the medical board asked me to be a doctor and I said, "No, I want to make video games." They practically begged me to stay. They wanted me to do like open heart surgeries and stomach surgeries and shit and I was like, "Uh, eh, you know, golf players aren't my, heart, my heart's not in it." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Okay, Wait. and we're done with this game because this, uh, frankly, this game wasn't very good. Uh, this game was a basketball game instead of a game about birds. Well, we were trying to do a theme of games about birds, and since it had bird in the name, we thought there would be more birds in this game. I have to apologize. That was our mistake. I mean, Lenar Bird did work on this game. The Harvey Bird... Harvey Birdman versus Michael Jordan. That was a bust. What, what is this game? This is Tayo no Yusha Firebird. It looks amazing. Wow. I don't know what's happening yet. But well, I definitely want to find out. In 2010, Healthy Option Dane, a jazz-influenced band from Burlington, Vermont, released a Bird Week-themed live performance music video. Footage from the game is included in the video. That is incredible. Thank you for that fact. I would love to see that video. Put, put a link I, of that into incredible. the channel. Find the video, put a link into the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh man, so, look at that cool dude. Who's that? Is that like Dr. Wiley? It, it's Dr. Dad. So oh, we're gonna play... A 1992 Firebird. NES game by Sunrise. Alright, do you wanna be... Makers of Gundam. Do you wanna be... Uh, K-Tone? Or... Pizza Jeff is this one for me. Which one do you want to be? Pizza Jeff. Okay, here we go. We're in the Pizza Jeff. Stage one, it's all you, my friend. I'm handing the controller to Cranderson because he's actually played this game before. I have not. So... Oh, I'm for the, the lightning! Time. The lightning is shooting the light. This okay. is incredible. This game is like nothing I've ever seen. You get to pick uh, one? Oh, I can play a train! Amazing. This is amazing. This is absolutely incredible. This is absolutely nuts. Wow. So we got a link in the chat for... for... healthy... option... Dane, Bird Week, here we go. I'm gonna watch it myself. <laughs> okay, so so James, hold up your phone to to the I'm gonna camera. Hold up my phone. So this so this is one of the reasons we played Bird Week, because there's just so much incredible history about it. We're learning new things all the time. And so I don't know if y'all can see this. Here we go. Here we go. There you go. That's it. Amazing. Absolutely just incredible. Just incredible. 
amazing, truly a sight to behold. Wow, guys, wow. Amazing. It's, that, that is pure art. Thank you. Wow. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing for the viewers at home. Incredible. This is just incredible. Okay. All right, so this game is called... I forgot what this is called. I it's don't, called I Firebird 5. Firebird 5, and this game is from Japan. It is a Nintendo Famicom game, and this was actually the inspiration for a little game known as Toho. This, this was it. This was the one. Might surprise you, this came out in 92. That's incredible. I think that's actually true. That, that is legitimately true. Yeah. Games. <laughs> this game came out in 1992. You know, they're still making Nintendo games, for, or Famicom games, rather, in 92. Up until, I believe, 1996. Was oh the man, look, look, there's a Famicom little guy. Game officially licensed. Look at the little man. There's so many that's little so dudes. Are you going to eat them or you run them over? What do you do? Oh, you, you run him over? Is he dead? No. No, he, I think I think he goes. He into, got in the car. He, it's a party van. The oh. game is about everyone getting in the party bus. Wow. So you have to pick up the little man in the party bus. Wow. And all these guys want us to not party. They don't. They. True. It. Baby birds toast to his noodle. <laughs> This is basically the threequel to Bird Week, the third game in the Bird Week series. I, this game it. is really incredible. I, I think this game is actually just fucking beautiful. Look at this. So we're obviously in the autumn level. Now it's the autumn season of Bird Week. So we, we tried to pick games all about birds. The first game being Bird Week, the second one being Air Jordan vs. The Bird. And this is the third one, Firebird 7, and I have to say... This is the best game yet. This is the best game of the series. I, I'm impressed. I don't know about, I don't know about you guys, I'm impressed. I think the interesting fact about this game is that this is actually a ROM. We don't own this game. What? I think the police might be on their way right now. What have you done to me, James? I have no regard for the law. I'm a bit of a rebel, in case you didn't know. Oh no. Bird Week, we actually own backup physical copies of it on top of our regular normal copies of it. I own the cartridge like several times over. So that game was perfectly okay to play. We don't own this game. I think we probably shouldn't keep playing it for very long. Okay, um... I hey. think the police might come and shoot us. That's what they do nowadays. The police might come knock on the door and shoot us if we don't stop playing this game. But yet somehow, I, I just strangely am intrigued. I can't stop watching. Did you just get wrecked? Intentionally. But after you got wrecked, what happened? Uh, you got back up again. L l life too. You got back up again. You got knocked down, but you got up again. I'm I'm actually playing the son of the guy that we picked up from the like foundry. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. So all the people I got in the party bus, they're actually the ones driving the party bus on yeah. the water. We're driving the party bus has floaty <laughs> wheels and can drive on water. Why why does floaty bus work this way? I don't know. I didn't invent it. But Dr. Tetsuo did, did. But if you did, what would it do? It it, it would use helium in order to fly over the water. I'm still watching this music video, by the way. It's completely legit. Tell, tell me more about the music video. It's, it's incredible. I, Describe it with your word images. It's just amazing. It's got people, and footage. What are they doing? Sound. They're playing music in this bird week. You have five seconds remaining, Christopher. Oh no. Use the rest of your time wisely. 
Boom! Time up. All right, hand it over. And that's I, it. I mean, look at that incredible... Game over. Look at that incredible transition. True. Kirby Bolt brings up a really interesting point if you want to read that while I, while I press the buttons here. I mean, it's called Firebird, which is like Phoenix. So the bird from Bird Week died and got reincarnated. So obviously, this is Bird Week 9. That's an incredible interpretation. See, that's the beautiful thing about art. It's all up to how you interpret it. Right. So so the bird came back as a ho-ho. All right, here we go. I'm going to play as here I am. I'm Kaneda Kuhn. And there's <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Dopey Dog Face Dad. <laughs> Dopey Dog Face Doctor. And I'm going to actually pick this red one. Okay. It's red like autumn. Wow! Did you guys see that? <laughs> oh. Okay. I pressed the A button. Why am I back here? Oh! I can hot swap vehicles! Did you never press this button? No! You never pressed the A button the whole time? Some hot swapping vehicles. Now I'm the drill dozer. Oh, can can you can you drill those through walls? Now I'm the the fire buster. Can you fly over the building? <laughs> now I'm the police turtle. <laughs> now I'm a tank. This is amazing. How did you never press the A button that entire time you were playing? I don't know. Holy cow! And uh, maybe, maybe this, this is an R wing. Maybe this is Canada's like secret ability. Wow, oh, that one's so much better. This, the R wing's the best one. I'm not sure why you'd play as any of those other shitty cars. So I'm gonna pick up the people and save them. That's just what a decent person. That's, that's would what do. a hero does. That's what being Look, friends is now, about. Now you're shooting in every I'm direction. Shooting every direction. I don't even give a fuck. I'm gonna blow up everything. If the police come in here and try to shoot us, I'm gonna sit them down and say, No, sir, officer, you take a look at this. You look that R wing in the face and you tell me, are you ready to shoot? I think yes. it's really incredible that this is the original Star Fox. A very popular Nintendo game. Star Fox Adventures. This is the original. We're on the beach now. I, I I wonder if the level is even short enough where you could do it in two minutes. I think I think the fact that there's time is kind of bullshit because it's an auto scrolling game. That's kind you of my point. We lose at the same place. What are we missing here? Do, does one of these go faster than the other? Hit level three. Oh, hit level be, one, 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 three. I'm gonna pick the one that's be, three. Why would I not pick? Right, the one pick that's the one that's level three, because now you're shooting in all directions, oh, right? Oh, wait, uh, maybe I should upgrade the other one. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick the red fire car. The ho ho car. Now, now you got two like auto blasts. Wow. I don't know where they came up with this stuff. They, they were geniuses. Frankly. I think they were on drugs. Possible. Maybe those mushrooms from the original Bird Week. Time! We just got more time. That was actually a lot of time we just got. If you don't get the time, what are you even doing? Wow. Oh, man. I'm going to switch back to the R-Wing, actually. Uh, I leveled that up to level 2, just in case. What is that pink text at the bottom? Say, I didn't even read that shit. What did you write? <laughs> did you write something embarrassing? Which I have... <laughs> To admit, at first, was a... Holy Benjamin, could we get a dancing Snoop Dogg in the corner, please? Theme. It's time, ladies and gentlemen, Benjamin. for Bird Ben. Week. Dancing Snoop Dogg. I don't think Benjamin's here anymore. Did Benjamin die? I think he went to take a nap. Yep. Someone's got to do it. Whoa! You cleared. We cleared oh, it. Oh, you did it. We didn't get wrecked. We beat the game. Dog dad. Or did we? What's happening now? 
Dog drums with dog dad. It's not quite done yet. <gasps> James, who are you? Who are you, cutie? With the pink ship. Whoa! Super zoomed in. I'm a crazy ship now. Is this a bonus stage? What is this? Uh, I can't change ships anymore. I can just be that. You, you, you can only be pink helmeted young lady. Okay, I'm cool with that. She's, she's Genki. Um, little Miss Genki. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. I get to be a and, and listen to her theme the story now. Like it, it's she got a good song too. Wow, this game got actually really awesome suddenly. I I mean it it's sort of risen from the dead. This game was dead and now it is not. So we only intended to play this game for a few minutes because we don't legally own it. But I actually think I'm gonna order it off eBay now that we've played it, and so we can legally own it. Because it's such a good game. This is beautiful. This is this is called Firebird No Monogatari Seven. Revenge AKA of the the dog face doctor's ex partner. Bird Week Nine. Bird Week Nine. I'm not really getting a lot of enemies though on screen. I feel like I'm really powerful, <laughs> and they're not so powerful. And it doesn't sound like you're clearing them off screen. So maybe they're just not spawning fast yeah, enough. Yeah, I don't... I don't think they made this challenging enough. Or I'm... I, I'm, I'm pretty good at video games, I have to admit. I think that this was aimed at, like, kids that, like, go get our robots. True. Sure. So... Th th they're, like, four. Yep. This is probably a game for four-year-olds. <laughs> I guess so. It's, we're playing a baby game right now. Ba baby's first, One like, up. space shooter. Baby's first Toho. Oh no, it's Toho. Oh! What? Even! Alright, they just like... <laughs> like, we're gonna kick you in the nads. Like, you, like, you call this game easy, we're gonna crank it up to 11 out of nowhere. It went oh. from like, a 2 to Is an 11. Is that text or an error? I don't know, maybe the Sh ship's overheating. 3. 3 what? 3 what? I got 3. I think you have to kill the thing three times. Oh, I got different bullets now. Oh, missiles? what's that one do? Twin missiles. I, I, I think that's homing. But there's, there's nobody not shoot to shoot. shoot. It See, is homing. how did you know? Because I saw them twisted in the picture. That's incredible. You're so smart. You know, it's iconography. True. But it's funny. You got two of them, right? but there's never two enemies on screen. That's really interesting. There is gonna be two enemies on screen. Eventually. There, there Spoilers, there has... guys. There's gonna be two enemies on screen. We, we know that... <laughs> Your one shot took out two... Uh, three? Uh, they're turning it up. This game makes literally no sense. I <laughs> love it. I would love to make a game just like this. I, I mean, we got Unity. We can do that. I think Give us so. a weekend, man. Yeah, let's just game jam this shit. Hot, hot Firebird action. So, as some of you might know, last week we had over 200 viewers, and we're looking to break the record this week. What's the number at? Right Person now? Person who's playing the game? I'm not entirely sure. Someone will have to tell us how many viewers we have watching Revenge of Bird Week, yes. It could be two, it could be 200. We don't know. We have no way of finding that out. And I'm still gonna keep shooting here. I don't know how long this goes on for. This is mind-numbing and think, fun. I think at we the have to time. kill things three times, and then it'll let us go to the next level. Roughly 40. We're getting up there. Thanks, Kirby. Kirby Bolt. I think we're winning the game. Okay, so that... Are my that... homing missiles unlimited? Yes. Because you unlock them. The only thing that limits them is the key. Oh. Otherwise known it's as only, your chai energy. only limited as yourself. Alright, I have the dual big missiles. They're not homing. As far as we know. Probably not. They're probably, probably a little too strong not to not, not home. Probably not homing. So, apparently, we're alive right now. I'm gonna let you play. 
I'm gonna tweet out the stream. I'm gonna get it out there. I'm gonna get it out there for the people. That's what I'm gonna do. So, I, I found the limitation to the homing missiles. Oh, did you? You can only spawn so many because sprites. Oh. That's what it is. You can only... See, the NES Famicom had certain limitations. Wow. He's got... We used to call him Crazy Fingers Chris. He's pushing the button so rapidly right now, it looks I'm, like his finger isn't moving at all. When, in fact, it's moving... I, I'm hitting it so fast that only the right ones are spawning half the time. That, that's just phenomenal. Yeah, Crazy Fingers Chris. And if you're just tuning in, this is Getting Wrecked with Cranderson, which is a portmanteau of Christopher and Cranderson. Is that right? It, it, yeah, it, it's a portmanteau of Cranderson. And I'm James P. Popstar. That is my legal birth name. And we're on a show called Getting Wrecked. And so far, we're not getting wrecked in this. We ha we're not getting wrecked this is, very this is, badly at this all. This is a bit of a baby's game. I don't know how long this is going to go on for, frankly. It, it's a little disturbing, because it's just sliding a very, like, dead, like... Like water we're moving it about texture. About five miles per hour over the water, shooting down essentially innocent aircraft. And then occasionally a red text pops up and tells us something that we just can't read. We don't James, know what can it you says. can you take a picture of that and put it into Google Translate? I, I should just like message Haru and see if Haru can read it for us, because what time I, I is don't it? know. In is Japan it, right is now? it Japan time yet? It's see, 1 53 p.m. in Japan. I'm, I'm going to take a picture of the text because I, I can't read Japanese very well. Does, does she have a job right now? Yep. She probably is going to work soon. Or okay, so let's work. bug her while she's on break. While she's on break, we're going to bug Haru. And, and then she'll tell her she'll, us when the level is what, what the letters say. I'm going to take a picture of screen and I'm gonna have her read it to us and she's gonna get back to us and tell us what it says. I should play it instead. Here we go. Oh gosh. Who, get, who, get the I, I wrote the back. exact same thing. It wasn't get the letters to come back enough so it, Oh we can't read that. It's hard to read the text. Come on. Get the letters back. Um Okay, so there's going to be a round guy that comes out and shoots three lasers, um, and when I murder him dead, it will display it'll say the text. Words. Okay, we we want to know what it says. We want we we got At to any know. Cost. At any cost. Somebody with a crown didn't make a unique comment, and they feel bad. James, encourage them. Please make all the comments you want. That's what this is about. We're just letting loose and being ourselves and having the fun. So you can say. We, we like you even if you don't make you, stuff that is exactly original. Nothing's actually nothing, original. Nothing in this world is original. Everything's just made out of atoms. Everything, even ideas. Everything's just made up. Even this game that okay. we're playing right now. Here we are. Shit Here we are, James. I'm about right. to murder him. Wait, is that it? That's it? Did we win? Did we actually win this no. time? No. Nope. But then... Oh, man. It's just there it is. Take it photo. is. It, it says cannot take photo. Phone ran out of memory. <laughs> what? No. Yeah, dude, I can't actually take For a real? I'm, I'm not joking right now. I wish you were. <laughs> My phone ran out of memory. How will anybody know what it says? They won't. Well, I'm going to actually delete some things, and we're going to roll around one more time until that comes up again, and we're going to actually take a picture of it, because that time was not successful. What, what are these pictures? All the pictures in my phone. There's right. Too many, too many pictures. Too many good pictures. There's too many. If you have any pictures of me, you should delete them now. I, 
That's like half my phone, dude. I can't get rid of that many in one go. Okay. I'm oh. gonna delete a bunch of pictures. What's, so it, what's that pictures. anime girl right there? Oh, that's just an anime girl. That's and the yep. other one's my pet dog. Okay. So what? It, my what photo it, is like. 20% anime girls and 90% pictures of Chris here. So, when you get the text up again... <sighs> I'm gonna take a picture of the screen. Yep, yep. Okay. So, round guy with three lasers. W w where art thou? I'm gonna keep deleting things, actually. Yeah, so that one in the top middle, right? Yeah. Is that like... Yeah, that's that's like a, a Hero Academia girl. Yeah. My <laughs> Hero Academia. Like, she touches things and then they don't fall so much. Yep. That's right. I, I only just started watching that. Is it oh, good? Oh, look, look, it's, it's the three laser guy. Oh shit, it's time. Okay. Alright. All right, I'm gonna take a picture of what it what it says. Okay, I got it. I think okay. I got it. it keeps blinking. <laughs> it's blinking, so it takes the picture like when it's on the off blink. <laughs> I don't think I actually got a picture of it. Well, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we have to do it again. Oh my god, we're, we have to do it again, guys. We're, we're, record a record a video of it and. And then Haru I don't can have be like space for a video. <laughs> oh my god, I kept taking the pictures on the off blink, it was blinking. This is ridiculous. <laughs> We're never gonna finish the level. We're we don't know what to do. We don't know how to play this game. This is the ninety percent of the game. This is very frustrating. When does it end? What do we do? The words probably say something really simple like don't shoot anything. So Good thing there is no time limit on this stage. Oh my goodness! Yeah, seriously, Where does this right? Game end? This, this is incredible. To Ranzu Firebud, I, I think. Who, who said that? I can't even read your name. Yeah. Is there, there an is there an option to stretch like the, the the texture all the way across the screen so we can read we can people's read names? Nope. No, afraid not. I'm okay, so not. so Ben just. Grab the bird week and put it under the <laughs> thing so that we can't read it. Ben, no. The Canicana is so trans. Trans, maybe? Okay. So. Eventually, Circle Pod's gonna be back, James. And then. And then. My phone's running out of battery. I'm gonna charge it. Okay. I mean, we, we, we do have the Shake Shake battery. James, tell them the story about the Shake Shake battery. Oh, this is pretty This is pretty sick. So, this is a phone and this is a battery pack. And you plug it in, it doesn't do anything. And I'm like, yo, how do you make the charge go from this battery pack to the phone? And it turns out... It's photo time, James. You just make like a Mischief Makers and shake, 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 shake. And every time I shake it, it charges my phone. It's literally, my phone's buzzing because it's getting the energy of the charge right now. I am not joking. This is shake, an shake, amazing shake, shake. invention. This is incredible. This is made by, I think, Pillsbury. Who makes this? Radio Shack. Radio Shack. So if you uh, have a local Radio Shack, you can get a Shake battery as well. Okay. So, so it's, it's time to take the picture, James. Okay. I'm ready. Let's do it. Got it. Got it. Got it. What just happened? Oh, I, I I lost a life. You died? I did. It's so easy. Well, we have I, to start I, over again. That whole thing. I don't I don't think we have to start over again. It's just we're we're look. All my score is the same. Okay. It was just one of my nine right, so lives. One of these is gonna be it, dude. One of these is gonna be it. One. Just take a look over here, real quick. <laughs> um, no. That one right there. No. All right, guys, I apologize. I did not get a picture of it again. How did this even happen? Just kidding, I got it. Wait, you did? Really? Oh, man. Oh, 
Alright, I got it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna find out what it says. So James, it's amazing. What happened? The So the the laser, when it when it kills a dude, it becomes offset, so it's it's three and four. And now it's two and four. Or no, that's like two and five. Look at that. Look at the strings, James. That's amazing. <laughs> How did they come up with all these power-ups? They're geniuses. Okay, so I messaged Haru. Mm -hmm. Haru was going to help us. I said, Haru-chan, Chris and I can't read this Japanese help. And she will tell us what it says. Are the three dots going? Is she writing something? Uh, she was active, and now it says active one minute ago. So she hasn't read it yet. I think she looked at it and was just like, uh, no. <laughs> no. Uh, two Pikachus. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. This is Getting Wrecked with Pranderson and James Popstar. And the theme of the week is... Bird. Bird. Bird wheat. As you see over there. That cartridge right there. We actually... You might think that's superimposed by computer imagery, but actually that's an enormous cartridge over there. Yeah. The, we have an entire camera set up just to view the bird wheat cartridge. It's a, it's a 1 over negative 5 scale model. Oh, you do. You, the, the bird inside of the ship piloting it is the bird that you play as. Similar to the game, you might know this one, called Sky Kid. Sky Kid, you're in an airplane shooting stuff. And you actually play as a bird, that is not a joke, that's the actual truth. So inside the ship you are actually a bird. So, so not that like Metroid where you play a bird. Not as not who like goes Metroid around where you in play a robot as a cool suit. robot man, yeah. This is there's a bird inside the ship. Oh man, it's Dogen. Hey Dogen, how do you say your name? Okay, we know what it says now. What does it say? <laughs> it says... <laughs> Haru has translated it for us, and Haru says... The text that keeps popping up that we can't read says... Change fiber. The text says change fiber. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no! Wait, what? Change fiber. Is what it says. Oh, you, you can just hold down the button. You don't have to keep pressing the button, you can just hold it down? What have we been doing? We, we've been tapping the button like grown-ups. You've been tapping the button so fast we couldn't see your thumb move. You literally <laughs> broke your thumb twice playing this game, when all we had to do is hold down the button. That's insane. We have so many lives, <laughs> and we don't know how to fiber. How do we change fiber? How do we change fiber? <laughs> Press select. It doesn't do anything. Change fiber. I know! I want to change fiber. Oh my god. Did I just change fiber? I, you, you fibered. Oh my... I'm changing. Henshin! What? Oh my god. Dab. We just changed fiber. Oh. In case you missed that, we just changed fiber. S send Haru a picture of what fiber is. I don't know if she cares, but I'll do it anyway. You have to play while, so I can take a picture for her. Oh man, you hold down the button and then you... S it changes the, the bird you send out. That's incredible. Tracking bird. Track bird. We have no idea what's going on right now. We just played, like, one level over the ocean for, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> it kept on telling us to change fiber. Change fiber, and then we finally did change the fiber, and now we are a Gundam. Can you step on buildings? With, like, with, nope. nope. Okay, it's collision. It's collision. Building is a collision. Okay. Wow. This is amazing. The music's really good. 
I like it. In earnest. I'm not even joking around. I think it's good music. And as you can see in the background, we are now in the autumn level. Yeah. Winter, spring, summer, fall. All you gotta do is call. Cranston it's Gundam Fox time. Star. It's Gundam time. Howdy <laughs> sent the sticker of Hisuke doing the thumbs up. <laughs> who, who, <laughs> who is it? What would I do without you? <laughs> we wouldn't have known to change fireware is what we would have done. We, we would have been trapped in the fiber level forever. So we have nine lives. And now it's nighttime. Oh my god. Oh, it's oh. The, that's gotta be the boss of this game. Fight, Cranderson. Do not get wrecked. Oh, he's already taken a third of my life. Oh. No. Shoot harder. The harder you push the button, I'm sure the harder it shoots. Hadu is MVP, she saved the day, otherwise we wouldn't have known to change fiber. So I'm, I'm actually really glad for that. Not even kidding about the fiber. Oh, I see the pattern now, but I'm... I'm literally dead right now. <laughs> I think Hadu is worth it. <laughs> shink, 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 shink. Ah, oh, we, got, we got level one yeah. now. We're winning the game. So in case you're just tuning in, this is Getting Wrecked with Cranus and James Popstar. And we have no idea what we're doing here. This is well, we changed Firebird and that's all that matters. This is called Firebird the Game. Firebird no Daibokan. That means two sword. Right. Or big, no, it means big sword. Also, that ninja star on the ground literally hurts you. I, I think that was like a... A mine? Fireball. A, a walking mine that got bored? A walking mine. They forgot what did it was doing? Did you beat the boss, or did the boss get tired and go away? Uh, the, the boss ran into me when I was already a corpse, and then I died. I, I literally had no health left. And then it hit me one more time, and I was dead. I don't know what the game was doing not killing me <laughs> when I had no health. I think it's a bug. But the, I'm fine with that bug. It's a good bug. There's a heart flying at you. Was that a bad heart? No, that was like that was like friend heart that fills up my health bar. Oh, I see now. I killed the thing, and then the the bullet got bored and just like sat in the middle there you of the go. screen. That's what happened. Yes, we could play that game. I know that one actually. What is the game that? that that Dogen wants us to play. It's it's a 3-2-X game. It's the one where you play as a hummingbird. That's a bird game, so it we is, actually could play it's that. An, it's an actual bird game. Pretty on the nose, if you ask me. Or on the beak bill, should I say. It's birds. I'm a little tired. I'm going to take a short nap while Christopher beats the boss. Oh, so oh. we decided to play again this week, because last week we had such a fun time playing Mist. Yeah, we played Mist. We played through all of Mist last week. Um, a lot of people don't know that that game was actually programmed in HTML. And it's just a series of JPEGs tied together by hyperlinks. That's actually all true of Mist. <laughs> well, maybe not about JPEGs. I don't think they invented JPEGs at they, that they point. They might have been, like, GIFs? Yeah, they, they they were probably progressive GIFs. They're very low low on the palette, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And it, it's really cool because in that game you open up books and it's like reading Rainbow. But um bum But with Jesus. Well, I'll just take your word for it. I forget, is that something from reading Rainbow? But um bum Don't take my word for it. Now, we're trying to defeat one of Dr. Wily's robots right here, but it is hanging in there pretty well. Oh! Get wrecked! So it's not always about us getting wrecked, I'd like to add. Oh, yeah. uh, there's the dog... Uh, dog the, doctor. Dr. Dog. Doctor. That was it. That was all that was stage one. Now we're in stage two. Okay. 
I think we're gonna call it there for this game Man. and move on. To I the mean, next I, game, I I don't know if we could take another fiber that, level. That was a rush. That was a real rush. I I wonder if you can always fiber. I don't know. Can you change fiber at any time? Maybe. Now we're underwater. Try fiber. I'm gonna try fiber. Oh, I fibered all over myself. Nope. 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 Okay, try nope. hitting start. Start. Wh what happens when you hit start? That's not start. Not, not A. Start. Okay, pauses it. Okay. So right. We're gonna actually select. Hold right there. And we're gonna go ahead in case we wanna revisit this game. Save a state. But now we're gonna play the next I, I bird mean, game. I mean that's cheating, but you know, you can forgive us, right? What did you tell us about the an an error has occurred? Error occurred. Okay, we can't play that game apparently. Let's play this one instead. Yeah! Super floppy birds. Wow! This is a real game. This is a real game that came out called Super Flappy Bird. We're going to play it right now. Now, I know the original Flappy Bird. I'm actually a really big fan of it. It's one of my favorites. Some of you might think I'm joking. It's literally one of my favorite games. So we're going to play <laughs> Super Flappy Bird Nightmare. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm too far in the air. Okay. All right, here we go. So remember, last week we had over 600 viewers. It was record-breaking, and if we're able to surpass 600 again, everyone will be mailed one treasure troll pog. It just gives you a pipe. That's lame. So we're going to play this game... And I say leave it to a pro, Cranderson. Okay. If you're just tuning in, this is Getting Wrecked with Cranderson and James Popstar. I'm Cranderson, he's Popstar. Welcome to Getting Bird Week. And what you see here is... Flap Bird. Flappy Bird, the game. And we're going to play it. Here we go. All right, I got this. I got this shit on lockdown. Okay, so you, you you have to get up to 35, James. Okay, I think I can do it. There's no pipes in this game. There's literally no pipes. We're having a problem. <laughs> Where's the pipes? I, I, I think we died too many times and forgotten how to do pipes. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh! That was that was crap. I wasn't ready for it. All right, let's try again. This time you remembered wow, about pipes. Wow, this is actually kind of BS. Let's try again. Here we go. Here we go, and away we go. Don't get wrecked. That's a little crappy. Let's try again. Let's pass one pipe. So is this Tappy Bird? This is Flappy Bird. This is official. None of that unofficial Tappy Bird. So is this Root Beer Flappy Bird? Wow! You okay? We're 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 on our way. So you got you got you got oh. arc through you got arc through it. We got four pipes down. Let's try one more time. My goal is to do ten pipes. Don't sell yourself short. Thirty-five. I try to keep my goals reasonable. You got four. I think you're you're ten percent of the way there, man. I think we're missing something here. N no, I think the game is just bad. What what are we doing wrong here? I feel like there's an issue. You 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 flap and then you don't flap. Oh, you got some more precision control what going on. What the hell is this? Why? Why would you do that? 
a good design. Randomized fire and bullet bill. What a great idea. Oh my god. Okay, so this is actually... Let's let's be real for a minute. This is a hack of the original Super Mario Brothers. Mm-hmm, mm hmm Someone took the code of the original Super Mario Brothers game on the Nintendo Entertainment System and changed it around to resemble popular mobile game Flappy Bird by Dong Nguyen. Now, of course... Now, whatever happened to Flappy Bird? I, I've seen arcade machines. Yeah, those are Flappy tickets, now known as flying tickets, because the estate of Dong Nguyen might have threatened them with a lawsuit. Um, estate? He was very wealthy after release of Flappy Bird. Very, very wealthy man. D did he pass? We don't like to talk about it. Is that what estate means? So usually that's when your family after you so after you've died. Essentially, what we're trying to do here is play this really difficult Mario hack. But the you... problem is it's bullshit. And I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna put on my game designer hat for just one minute and tell you why uh, this is every bullshit. Week. Let me tell you why this is bullshit. Because it would make perfect sense if I was just trying to get through the pipes, like, okay, yeah, whatever. But there's randomized bullet bills and fire spraying at me that could be anywhere. And the issue is I have no left and right control. I can only move up and down. And sometimes those randomly spawn in the opening, which means it's a forced lose. And I call BS on that. I think, I think that's bad design. Well, Chef HT, or whatever his name is, is probably crying. I think that person needs to evaluate their life. You're, you're going to go to their house. You're going to knock on I'm their door. I'm really upset by you're this. You're going to sit down in their their den, and this you're going to explain to them. This is an absolute insult. You're going to explain to them why that was not a good idea. Be I'm like, going to no, write them makes... a strongly worded letter is what I'm going to do. Like, it makes it hard, James. Don't you understand? God, like, come on. Hard is good. This is Bullshit is not good. Look, it would have been okay. This whole thing would have been okay if there was no bullet bill or fire. Then it would just be straight up, oh, you made an NES hack that turned into Flappy Bird. How clever you are. Here's the fucking cookie. Yeah, but then it wouldn't be nightmare mode. Oh, got it. So the nightmare is the game is impossible. Yes. So the the Flappy Board arcade machines are not licensed. They're no. they're actually an act of piracy promoted by like major corporations. Yes. All right, so I'm a little fed up with this. I'm going to try one more time and I'm going to actually give it my best. Okay. Uh the goal is 5. I think I can do that. <laughs> Fudge! Alright, let's try again. Okay. One I more believe time. in you. Okay, the problem is the controls also suck. <laughs> Real Flappy Bird has a certain... There's a certain feel to the controls. I can't quite put my finger on it or describe it, but there's certain physics and feel to it that make it pleasant to play. Could it have something to do with knowing how much you're pressing your thumb on on the touchscreen? No. No? Well, well tell me more player about the one controls. Player over. All right, player... Luigi Bird... <laughs> well, we don't have a second controller plugged in. <laughs> and Luigi Bird failed, too. So, there you go. Yeah, you actually can do two players, just not at the same time. Oh man, it would be great if you did two players at the same time and they crash each other. I feel like we need like one tile more of pipe space. Mm. The first time we tried to play this, there were no pipes for about 30 seconds. Yeah, I think that's a bug. I okay. think everything about this game is a bug. Everything about this game is a bug, sure. I'm gonna keep trying until I get three. How's that? Okay. One. Dos. Quattro. Cinco! S all right. Okay, you it. got the five. So, I'm I'm okay with that. I'm satisfied. 
Okay. I hand you the controller. So, so what is the new bird game? So the next bird game we're going to play to commemorate Bird Week, which this is currently that we're in. It is the end of Bird Week. Is a completely different game. Now for something completely different. Going on the theme of Mario hacks, we're going to play another Mario hack. Are you ready? I, I guess. Oh no. man, this looks like a Mario type. Oh, Don't oh. press anything for one minute. I want you to read really carefully. Bud? The title screen. Montagna. What? That's my name. Why are you pirating a Montagna game? That's my name on the screen. Do you know why? Did your sister hack this? No. Do you know why? You're, you're, you're going to have to tell me, James. I made the game. You I made this game when I was 13 years old. And you didn't bother to put a title on it. And I missed a spot. Even worse, there's one pixel of title. <laughs> See that little pixel right there? Uh huh. There's a pixel right there. You now, missed it. I made this two years before I was born in 1985. Yet I was 13 years old. Um, no, I didn't change the date either. This was made when I was 13 in about the year 2000 or so. So, so do you play as a potato? No, it has nothing to do with potatoes. His name is just Spud. Okay. It's, the full name of this is called Spud the Journey Home. Well, I, I, I made I this ROM Spud. hack to change around Super Mario Brothers to be a completely different game with nothing to do with Mario. It is about an alien who crash landed on a planet that he's unfamiliar with and he wants to get back home. Oh, like Potato the Extraterrestrial. No, that's not a thing. He wants to get back home but they, the aliens on the planet that he crash landed on are hostile and took his space rocket. So, so he has to make a, cell phone. So Spud is on a journey home, thus the name Spud the Journey Home. If you Google Spud with two Ds, Spud the Journey Home, you will find this ROM. Hack. Hack. Alright, I'm gonna play it. Okay, tell, tell me about why this is a bad game. So this game is terrible. I didn't know what I was doing. I basically went into a hex editor and changed around values until the music sounded different. And I thought I was composing. I thought that's how composing works. So, <laughs> if you listen closely, the music is different than the Mario music. Yeah, <laughs> I composed that. <laughs> Move over, Koji Kondo. James Popstar is in the house. So, this is all a bunch of stuff. You know what, I, I, I really like the da 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 Why would you have a crazy death Pipe. It kills you. I don't know, James. Why this would you do that? This is terrible design. I didn't know what I was doing back then. I, that's why I wasn't a game designer yet. It's well, bullshit. So, you basically, if you go down this pipe, you have to die. Pretty rude, if you ask me. So, I guess I can't get too much on Super Flappy Bird Nightmare's case, because <laughs> I did some bullshit, too. Well, so, so, are you suggesting that Super Flappy Bird, when he hacked it to be Flappy Bird... He, he was basically making his first hack game? Essentially, yeah. Oh, man. That's a, that's a pretty good hack game. It resembles Mario less than mine does, I think. So we're going to play this game. So he the planet he's on is called Planet Bloody. And he's there, and he's fighting all the indigenous species who are evil. Now, I changed it so that you can actually jump higher... I don't remember how I did that, but... Probably probably in the variables. I changed some hex values until things were the way I wanted them. Um, I was very patient. I mean, that, that's that's how game making works. Is I you, thought that's how you, you make you games. Change, I, was, I was no, just a kid. But, but no, legitimately, but you change the variables. Make games, in a way. Uh, un until, like, Roddy feels like she's jumping the right way, right? Until Roddy Tops jumps like a regular jumping zombie would. Right. You just change numbers. That's how you make games. I think I made this without any particular influence. This is like an experiment in what would I come up with left to my own devices 
entirely without any particular inspiration. The level designs are kind of like jerk level designs. <laughs> well, that sounds like any like <laughs> level. Like there, there's a Mario Maker Club a at work, right? Where they make yes. levels that let's make really hard levels. And it's like, hey, let's make a level that's not fun to play. So this is called <laughs> Spud the Journey to the Journey Home, rather. S P U D D the Journey Look, Home. You 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 changed the flag. And. This is made by yours truly. I made this when I was 13 by hacking the original Super Mario Brothers game. What did the pipes say? The pipes? I think what I was trying to do, it says 21201. Like, I think it was like a pipe that it's like showing the address of where the pipe goes to. <laughs> and there's like words written on the other side. No, unfortunately, this is not the game I'm most proud of. The game I'm most proud of is called And Then the Ghost Saw Hands. A game I've never played. If you Google and then the ghost saw hands, a game I've never played, you will find the game that I am the most proud of that I've ever made. But I've never played it. You Actually, that's not true. I didn't play it. Eventually, I played it. So the title's not true anymore. I just jumped in the fire. Okay. So game explain, over. explain hands the, the game I never thought to play. So, and then the ghost saw hands, a game I've never played, is a story about a ghost in the afterlife uh -huh, uh -huh. who's on a journey. Is it a discovery journey? It's it's very deep. You probably wouldn't understand it if I told you the true meaning. You really need to play it for yourself and come to your own conclusions. I don't want to ruin it for you and anybody else, but it's very deep. It's very beautiful. It's very poignant. And if you play it, you might cry. Many people have played it and cried. They're very moved. Um... I'm very honored by those people that have enjoyed the game. Thank you. I I never imagined that it would win the Newbery Award, but you know here for, we are. For best original child author. Correct. Of a creepy pasta. I'm gonna try to not lose it this for a second. Okay. Let's see if I can do it. Don't lose your game. I don't know what those are. Little squirrel nublets. What are they? I don't know. I'm not <laughs> sure what. I just change stuff around to change they, they shit around. They look like really. duglets. And I forgot to press the jump button, apparently. I'm losing. This is my own game. I'm not even good at it. I never said that I would be good at games. I said that I would play the games. But it's all about getting wrecked. And right I now, mean, we're I getting mean, pretty James damn is wrecked. getting wrecked. He, he's living... It's, it's on the tin. I think I just, like, I wrecked myself. I probably should have checked myself, because right now I'm wrecking myself. Can you hand me the cell phone so that I can check the the chat? Yeah. They, they might have questions oh for the creator of Spuds McKenzie. Alright, so I'm going to play one more time, and then we're going to change games. So how are ROM like, hacks like this made? How are ROM hacks like this made with a lot of patience and a hex editor? So basically, you take the original ROM, and then other smarter people than me have made tools where you can change the level designs in real time with like a visual graphical user interface but it's not quite enough to get the job done you need other things so for me i just went with a hex editor and changed numbers using a technique called corruption where you basically just take chunks of the game scramble or set the values to zero play the game and then see what changed and by doing that i was able to find where the music was stored screw around with the values of the music randomly and get different music um, by doing that, I was also able to change the jump height for some reason, so he jumps even higher. It was very experimental, it took hours and hours to get any results, and that's basically how we did it back in the year 2000 when I believe this was made. So, so James, Dugan has made a, a valuable suggestion. Hey, you, you don't like the spacing on those pipes? How about you change the variable that controls where those pipes are? Well, see... But we don't, we don't know... What I forgot how any of that stuff works. Yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember how I made this, but I made it. Also, Spud doesn't go entirely in the pipe. He's still peeking out. You can see his little <laughs> antenna. <laughs> also, this is a jerk right away. It drops you in. You have to hold right. Okay, so so James, I think we've learned something valuable about Mario. Yes. Mario doesn't go all the way in the pipe. Mario doesn't go all the you way in the pipe, You just uncovered the art that would let you know that he hasn't gone all the way in the pipe. So this weird two-legged ghost thing chasing me. This is actually one of the bloopers from original Mario that the squid, if you will. Um, 
I don't know what I turned it into. I don't know what these are either. I basically made whatever came to my mind without putting much thought into it. And here's an unvetted look at the inside of my brain at 13 years old. Now you see that platform right there? Just kidding, it's a fake platform. Why is it there? Oh, that's bullshit. I don't know. It doesn't take you anywhere, it's just fake. You just fall through it. So I'm gonna jump! And this weird shell with an eyeball and a stick. It goes in the pit. It goes in the Goodbye. pit. Goodbye, I don't love Goodbye. you anymore. There's no mushroom, so if you get a mushroom, it just makes the mushroom sound. <laughs> I love it. But no mushroom appears. So, I, I, I still feel like we need to thank Haru for telling us how to fiber. Yeah, thank you, Haru, for telling us how to change fiber. We would have never known. But thanks, I love you, and I hope you're having a nice nap right now. Instead of watching this. Okay, those plants have eyeballs on them. Uh -huh. I don't know what inspired that. Uh, wow! Was it was it Trudy from uh, Little Shop of Horrors? No, because I'd never seen Little Shop of Horrors when I was 13. I saw it when I was at least 25. Wow. I, I, I saw what? that I saw that when I was like four. That's a lie. I heard that movie when I was four, and it terrified me. Um, I gotta come clean the platform that was fake was an accident. I don't know why that platform was fake. I don't even know frankly how it got there. A uh, corruption? I corrupted one value too many. And and then you discovered some interesting art. I didn't exactly know what I was doing for any of this stuff, really. So these Goomba wannabe, like, bandit nubs. You'd seen what other people had done. These are called bandit you, nubs. You did it for yourself. I can name them because I made them. The bandit nubs are a lot, whole load of trouble. I'm gonna jump this big jump. Now, and now tell me the, the, the fiction about bandit nubs. Well, bandit nubs are just the indigenous creatures. They're essentially the squirrels of Planet Putty. Jump! Okay, that wasn't too bad. I'm sure there's a warp zone on the other side if only we knew how to reach it. Um, but we can't. There's no mushrooms, as you see, so you can't turn into big spud. This isn't Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers. This is a different game. So, the plant's waiting to bite me, which means... What does it mean? Uh, it, it means it's a jerk. There he is. And we're gonna make this big jump right here. Here we go, here we go. One, two, three. Wow. So, there you have it. That is the game that I made when I was 13. The ROM hack of Super Mario Brothers. I just changed around whatever I felt like. I didn't know I was changing. Oh, look at those plants. I made those plants on a stick. Why are oh, they man. there? I don't know. Ask me at 13. He won't know either. Those are puff sprays of water in the background and plants Beautiful. on a stick. These mushroom blocks, I don't know what those are either. They, I think they're like... I, I mean, nowadays you'd probably attach it to like some background art. Yeah. But back then, we didn't have to care about that stuff. Yeah, it's... Fire! It, it sort of weirds me out how much we care about background art now. It matters. It gives you... Oh. So, we have an excellent question. Where are the birds? So, all I have to say to that is... Keep your eyes peeled. You're not gonna believe what you see. Because what you're gonna see is no birds. Because what you're gonna see... Well, look at that bird right there. That's an alien bird. And he moves rigidly, and then slowly dips, and then... <laughs> and has a really creepy that. eye. And he has a creepy eye. That is actually the indigenous bird of... Shellbird. Of this planet. The shellbird, correct. Here we go, and away we go! Yes! And that's the game! Bam, baby bitch! So, there you go, there you have it. That is, uh, Bird Week. Spud the Journey Home. Alright, this is actually... By Emmy and... And... Lance. Len Len Lenny. 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 Lenner. Thank you, you remembered. Okay, this is How the could I forget last, Lenar? last level. Oh, what no! The hell was that? No! No! I don't know what that was just now. That was terrifying. I don't even remember that. The, you just murdered Princess Toadstool Peach. I don't know if y'all saw that at home. Spuds is a murderer. That was incredible. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. I, that... I it, made this, that's beyond me, I don't know you, why... You don't that, remember that being there? I corrupted this game a little too hard. Oh, 
James, Spuds is a murderer. <laughs> I'm guilty. <laughs> oh man, look at that fire. That it's was amazing. not fire, that's bad breath. We're gonna fight oh. the, the King Goomba. Not related to the Goomba from the Mario series. L like the Italian. The King Goomba. Oh my god! Oh, he loves it. We have to do that all again, I apologize. All right, everyone watch closely. This is some messed up shit. You're about to see some serious shit. Okay. <sighs> I think All I'm right. prepared, James. Okay. No, no, I, I wasn't ready. <laughs> okay, so I actually think I had to have replaced the sprite for the mushroom with her head intentionally, because I don't see how else that could have happened. <laughs> Why did I do that? I don't know, frankly. I don't actually know. You were 13 know. years old. You was, were only 13 just, years old. I was just a 13-year-old boy. It seemed funny at the time. <laughs> you right, were drunk so with power. We're you didn't ask it. if you could or you should. That, this you whole just game did. was me drunk with power. When you give me the keys to the city, this is what you get. This, what you get is the Goomba King. Oh my god, he's amazing. This is the Goomba King. He has terrible breath. James, this is this is the best thing. I love him. I'm afraid. I'm genuinely afraid. Look I at that basketball shorts. His basketball is shirt. Terrible. He's got and black. And he's got a long neck. <laughs> he's the Goomba King, not related to the Goomba from Mario series. That's just silly. Yeah. We <laughs> need to get past him. I don't know what to do right now. I'm scared. Well, gonna, you only have 88 seconds. I better come up with a plan pretty quick. You you even sped up the clock, didn't you? I don't remember what I did. I was 13. Push the lever. The Goomba King falls in the hot lava. Oh, Great man. job, Spud. You, you but don't. But the rocket space, space, space is in another castle. Whoa! Oh, man. We have you got to get dunked to the on. rocket. I got... I played myself. I literally played myself. That wasn't the end of the game. There was more. I forgot there was more. I don't know how far this goes. How far does this go? Does oh. it go to 8-4? Does it go to 8-4? Whoa! Well, I think I... We know I, that you've made at least five levels. Game, but yeah, we made. I made at least four, four levels. Five levels, yeah. That was the fifth one. I think I actually hacked the whole game, but we're not going to find out. But we're going to move on. So thank you for watching. If you're just tuning in, this is Getting Wrecked with Cranus and James Popstar. Thanks for spending your Friday night or Saturday afternoon, depending on where you live, with us. We really appreciate it. It's a lot of fun to hang out with you and get wrecked. It's, it's, uh, it's a good old time. We're going to play a few more games before we call it a night. Let's see if we can find another bird game. But let's find another bird theme that game. That isn't Larry Bird versus M. Jordan. I really thought there'd be more birds in that one. There, there, there was exactly one. There was one bird. The next game is one y'all might know. It, it's licensed by the Nintendo of America. Tiny Toon Adventures. What does this have to do with birds, you say? Yeah. I don't know. I mean... That's a bird. That is a bird right there. That That isn't a There's bird. There's literally two birds on screen right now. That's a messed up cat. There's so many birds right now. See you later. I've never played this game. Sorry. But there's a bird at the bottom of the screen. Jump. 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 What, what does the A button do? It jumps. Oh, nice. What, what does the B Can button do? Can you run? Let, let me see. Uh, yes! Ow! Yeah. Oh. Yoink! What are they saying? Lols love this one. Yeah, I, I gotta be real, I've never played this. i never played this game. I would like to play this game. Crandus is playing it right now. Okay, so... I'm gonna be honest, James. Yeah. Having the run on A kinda sucks. Wait, if the run's on A, then what's the jump button? I, I, I mean Xbox A. Oh. On B. Having run on B kind of sucks. Why? Oh wait, no, I got it. I got. It. Uh, Give it to me. I'm gonna show you how it's done. Oh, oh there's no. a bird. There's a really fast bird. And a wow. slow. 
Wily Coyote is a coyote. So that's a that's a coyote. As a wise man once said, we're tiny, we're toony, we're all a little loony. No, See you no, later, James. Shirley. Do, do you and remember? Don't call me Shirley. Do you so, remember the summer vacation movie that they made? Uh, I remember National Lampoon's Vacation. So Wacky World it's a Land. Great movie, Wally Wally World. Not Actually, Wally World. Weird, weirdly related, they did a a Wally World, didn't they? They 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 did a film at the end of the first season that was Summer Vacation and. Plucky, yeah, Plucky, wanted to go to Wacky World Land. It was Wacky World, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I remember that a little bit. Bam. I'm gonna jump on everything. I remember somebody talking about recently that they learned about They Might Be Giants from Tiny Toons. This game's very bouncy. Bouncing off of everything. Yeah. I'm a bird now. All right, All right. I'm bird killing birds. I just killed another bird. Don't and kill your carrots. own. Eating carrots, dancing. Then again, carrots. that that eagle in Bird Week, he he didn't care about killing his own. Oh, I can flap. You you, you glide by worrying. Look at that! Wow, he doesn't even need to flap. He's so perplexed. He doesn't need to flap, he just flies. Exit. Did we win? There's another bird! There's so many birds in this! Nope, nope. Look at all these birds for Bird Week. I'm impressed. We picked a good one. So, I think the point of this game is to eat all the carrots. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. I, Eat I all think the carrots and jump on all the things. And then get to the exit. Oh, I want that ball, but I well, can't have it. It's in the trash now. I'm gonna try to win this game, actually. A lot of times we don't try to win the game, we try to get wrecked. Now, uh, James, you, you've heard of the band They Might Be Giants, right? Yes. Did you know that they took their name from a movie? No. What movie did they take it from? Uh, they Might Be Giants. It's about a, a lawyer who lost his mind and thought that he was Sherlock Holmes. Uh-huh. And he talks about uh, Don Quixote at Look at this point. baby porky pig! Yeah, look at him! He's a little, he's a little porker. Hampton. Hampton, How many that's carrots right. do you have? What, what are you doing? What are he's you doing? He's stealing your carrots. Why? He, he he's holding you up. Try to get more. What just happened? You, was that a you, stick up? You 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 work I wasn't for Hampton now. It. You pay him the protection money. You give him the carrots. I don't know if I like that. That's a little Look, scandalous. We, we we gotta teach kids about like corruption while they're still young. Otherwise, they'll be like, that's wow. just not fair. That was some messed up shit. I don't know if you just saw that. Exit time. We're winning the Tiny Toons game. Yep. Look. Oh, it's Elmira. Oh. I remember Elmira. She wants to hug everything. <gasps> you can't jump on her head? Oh my goodness. What was I supposed to do? I... What could you do? And look, you're not you're not cool enough to Did be. Did the whole game start over because I Elmira think, touched me once? I think you chose World One again. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to exit. I have to play through World One again. Screw this. All right, here we go. Get the heart. Get the heart. Got it. All right, everyone, calm down. I got the heart. All right. Everyone in the MySpace video stream, calm down. I, I heard that T-Lake actually owns MySpace. Who? Uh, JT Lake. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. I, I don't know why he would want to own it, but he does. Does he also own Zanga? How about LiveJournal? Oh, man. Somebody should bring Live Journal back. What about Dead Journal? Oh, the Dead Journal. 
you 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 write about the the life that it's you like want. Like the counterculture and it'll never journal. It was like for goths and stuff. Really? Yeah, it was real, dude. Dead journal. Oh man. What what snark? It was a real thing that actually exists. So we're playing Tiny Toons, the Nintendo Entertainment System video game. Now I remember watching Tiny Toons as a kid. I don't want to be Buster. Then don't pick up the ball. How do I get back to being? Find a balloon not, and then pick up the ball. Not Daffy. <laughs> <laughs> Throw yourself in a pit. Throw yourself in the trash. Buster, your trash. I actually own this game, and I've never played it. Really, you you own a Konami game that you haven't played? I own a lot of games I haven't played. So actually, I own a lot of Famicom cartridges because the store was closing down. What store? Game Ninja in Little Tokyo in Los Angeles was closing down. And they basically were like, well, we're getting rid of everything. And I said, how much for all the Famicom cartridges? And they said, I don't know, 80 bucks? I said, sold. And they gave me a box. I took them all. How, ma how them, many, how many cartridges way. did you get? Several hundred cartridges. For only 80 bucks? Yep. Oh, man. True story. That's why I did a, like a rainbow of Famicom cartridges in my room as like a display art piece. The true story. It, it's beautiful. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Now, this is interesting because Konami really went all out with this brand. They made this game accidentally good when, as a Tiny Toons game, this had no business being this good. But they cared, and that inspires me. I think even a licensed game should be fantastic because any game could be somebody's first game ever. Right, don't make a bad game for people. Even if they're little kids, don't make a bad game for people. Also, wait, wait forward, we talk about this all the time. Like, any game we make could be some kid's first game. It could okay, be... Okay, now, you're, you're gonna have to... That's, that's how you it. beat you it. You just live. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> what a, Someone could have told me what that. What a messed up battle that is. Oh, no. There was some rare stuff, yeah. Uh... My favorite one, however, was uh, Eggerland, and actually the the late Satoru Iwata signed my copy for me, so it's it sits at my desk right now. It's my most prized possession. Oh man, look, it, it, it's the classic. The 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 tile is getting the wrong information at the edge. Yeah, it's, it's like color changing. They probably figured no one has a TV that can see this. They'll never know. Right. It's okay. And here we are in the year. 2017. Apparently, this game. Mario Brothers 3 also has that bug. Wow! Got missed. Let's try again. I'm not gonna give up that easy, okay, chat? But, it, but it's even worse. I know y'all be like, you don't get wrecked, get wrecked. I'm not, I'm not gonna get wrecked that easy. This game is what's gonna get wrecked, okay? Alright? So, how about, how about you just get a little patient? Can you hop on the, the mouse head? <laughs> All right, we just got rigged. <laughs> yes, that, that is speech. a software bug. Well, it's a hardware limitation that you could program around. But like, it it, it kind of locks you in to what you have to choose to do. There's a pretty good video where somebody talks about how Nintendo couldn't actually work around it in Mario Brothers 3 because of the vertical and side scrolling. I don't want to be anything but Plucky the Duck. So I'm yeah, not going to collect those balloons. He, look, he's so worried as he glides down. It's crazy the way Plucky just floats. Just like in the cartoon, the way I remember it. Did he float in the cartoon? I have no idea. We'll just assume that he did. If he did, it would look just like that. Exactly. That like was some crap right there. Oh, and look how far you have to go back. This no checkpoints. So no checkpoints. I mean, maybe there are checkpoints. So yeah, when we make games uh, at WayForward, we always think about in the time constraints and budget constraints and whatnot that one might have. How do you make the best game possible? Don't phone it in because it's a licensed game. Don't just make a game to make a game. 
you have to love what you're doing because the end result will live forever. The end result will outlive you. Well, I mean, you only live once also, right? So why would True. you waste your time on Yolo. on something that ain't worth it? True. Your life is made up of the things you choose to do from day to day, so why not work on something amazing and make something fun and cool? Even if it's a Tiny Toons Adventures game. Make it good. Make it count. Wheaties, Breakfast of Champions, you know? So one of my favorite bugs of all time is in uh, the Super Nintendo Tiny Toon Adventures game. Oh my god, I'm s getting wrecked. Have, have you ever played the Super Nintendo one? Buster Bust Loose? How many lives do I have? Uh, I think you have two more lives. I've never played Buster Bust Loose, I don't think. So if you if you load up the game from the like level select code entry, the bosses do not spawn, and so you just, when you get to the end of the level, you just win. Always? Always. For the, ah! for the rest of the game, you don't fight any bosses. How does anyone ever fight the bosses? You, you, you play through the game without using the ah! code. And so while I have been in that game, because of that bug, I wouldn't say that I've legitimately been in the game, but I did find a bug. Nope! Oh, apparently balloons also spawn hearts. Yeah, I, forgot I, about I, that. I just checked. That one wasn't a heart. Maybe. Oh you, my god! Why did you fly up so high? It's a canned jump height, dude. Ah, uh, <sighs> we got wrecked! Piss. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Uh, anyway, we're going to have Cranderson play the next game. Okay. And the next game is one many of y'all have been asking for. Many of y'all have written us letters, baked us cakes, um, sent spies over to shoot at us, requesting this game. And we, you know, we thought about it. We thought really hard, like, what should we do? Should we really do it? Like, are we going to actually go there? And after much deliberation, we decided, since it is Bird Week, to make it really special and play the game you've all been waiting for. So without further ado, I present to you this next title. Actually, do you want to keep playing Tiny Toons? No. Okay. Lo lo We went there. Yep. We went there. Deal with it. Incredible. So this is Big Bird, the video game. I mean, look at the, the cinematic. This is really advanced for the original Nintendo Entertainment System. Look at all the colors and the... He was secretly wa waiting for them to go Bird. into the house. He has them cornered. Elmo. The Count. The Count. He's Ready? talking on the Nintendo Entertainment System. This is incredible. Are you guys seeing this? People, people thought that like Star Fox and and like Super Metroid was advanced. They didn't talk in Star Fox. You're Big right. Big Bird talked. I didn't see Falco saying words. I think Big Bird outdid F Falco as the better bird. Maybe Big Bird needs to be in the next Star Fox game. I don't know. The last All Star Fox is in captivity. All I'm saying is this is incredible. To choose. How do this, I get this is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. That Who knew that? I don't Big know what Bird he's asking me. I can't hear him clearly. On a Nintendo. This is outrageous. So I hope y'all are happy that we finally are playing the game you've all <laughs> asked for. Look at that Elmo's little Elmo. shitty dance. I hate his Find stupid freaking face. <laughs> Yep, that's the count. The count. That's my buddy. Wow. I love the count. You found the count. You, you found, found the, the count. count. I don't know. Wow. 
Is he who, who, who they wanted us to find? He wants you to find the Count. Again? That's the Count. Find Bert. Bert. Find Bert in the upper left. Yay! You found oh, Bert. Okay, we're doing it. Now this game's incredible. Ernie. This game is insane. This game is literally not sane. Great. You found Ernie. You didn't know what you were getting yourself into. I, I can't believe what we're seeing. Did you see how his eyes? What his Good eyes game. just did? Big Bird's eyes? That was incredible. That was astounding. Look at Elmo's shitty walk cycle. Oh, it's a Grover! Look how smooth he walks. A lot like freaking Elmo. Find the letter V. Find the letter V? I don't know which one's V, do you? No, no, in Fee, German. The letter Fee. Right. Oh, there you go. Oh, boy. You found V. Now, find this is the insane. letter R. Find the letter R. Which one's R? Oh, it, dude, it's, it's, a, it's a riddle. Big Bird has the letter R in it. You have to go to Big Bird. Oh, no. Oh, never mind. I don't know what's going with that. You found R. Now, find the letter W. Look his eyes. <laughs> Choose a game. Did you, did you fucking see that shit, Sesame Street? Yeah. For those of you just tuning in, this is Getting Wrecked with Cranderson and James Popstar. This is Cranderson, I'm James Popstar. I got it right this time. We are playing the most hardcore game I've ever played. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sesame Street Big Bird's Day Out. Big Bird's Wild Party Night. Now, now he, he was hiding Bird's for all his friends to get trapped in the house. I really think this game is revolutionary. This is a Nintendo Entertainment System game that would have words spoken by Big Bird. I've never seen a game that did that before. If I saw this game when I was a kid, I would have been tripping balls. I would have been tripping balls so hard over this game. Find the letter R. No, that's Grover, dude. He wants the letter R, not the letter Grover. Now, James, have you ever read the book, The Monster at the End of the Book? No. Tell me. So, Grover really doesn't want to meet the monster at the end of the book. But he is the monster at the end of the book. It's really deep. Yeah. Wow, that's like, incredible. And then you, you realize, oh, we're all monsters. That's that's the message of Sesame Street. The message of Sesame Street is inside we are all monsters. Yay! And with that, you I think I think L. we're gonna call it a night. I think we're calling now, it. We did it. We got F. fucking wrecked. We're Big all Bird monsters. Wrecks our face. We are all monsters. If you think about it. Yeah, man, it's it's scary. The universe Wild. is a really scary place. It's a crazy, scary Thanks, place. Sesame Street. Thank you, Sesame Street. And thank you to all of you Find who actually spent time with us at watching this. I don't know why. Um, we do this for fun. This is fun for us. And we just let people watch us do this for fun. And some people think that's fun. I don't get it. But if you do, that's awesome. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. I hope you'll tune in next time we decide to do this. Maybe not next week. I might be in Japan. Yeah, but he gets to go to Japan. I'm going to Tokyo Game Show pretty soon. One week from about now. Um, but we will do this again. I, I think we will. Yep. It's fun. So we'll keep it going. We'll do the streams and play games and have a grand old time. And hopefully you will be there. Thank you for tuning in. Keep watching Mint Potion stuff. There's a lot of fun things to see and do with Mint Potion. And, like dog drums of dog. And like snack time we need to bring snack time back we haven't had snack time in a while we should see about that anyway good night folks thank you thanks for being on our 
Twitch and MySpace and eBay. Yeah. We appreciate it. Big Bird's getting a little a little impatient here. Oh well thank you. I hope you have fun. And we're gonna go be over there. Here we go. Goodbye. Okay. We're just going to leave the stream on. We're going to leave the stream on for hours just with the screen on. You don't know how to turn the screen off. 